Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on triple integrals. In this session, we are going to solve some problems on triple integrals where all the limits are constant. Let us go into the example. A given problem, all the three limits are constant. The triple integral x, y, z, dz, dy, dx. So, I can solve the problem as it is. If all the limits are constant, I can just Proceed by considering the problem as capital I. First, we have to integrate as usual the inner integral as like the double integrals. So, when I take this integral 0 to A, integral 0 to B, integration of x, y, z with respect to z is x, y constant and integration of z is z square by 2, the limit is 0 to C dy dx. When we substitute the lower limit, it becomes 0. When I substitute the upper limit, it becomes c square. So, I will be getting x, y, c square, dy, dx. Next, integrating x, y, c square with respect to y, x, c square are constant. So, I can integrate this y as y square by 2, integral 0 to b, dx. Substituting the limit, we will be getting x, c square, b square by 2. 2 dx. Here b square c square are constant. I can take this outside. b square c square 2 into 2 4 integral 0 to a x dx. Next integrating this b square c square by 4 x square by 2 integral 0 to a will be getting a square b square c square by 8 since the lower limit is 0. This is my solution students. You can see the typed version. Okay, let us go into the next problem. Next, we solve a similar problem. Let us consider this as i and now we have to integrate x, y square, z with respect to z. So, x, y square are constant. So, integration of z with respect to dz is z square by 2. Now, we have to apply the upper and lower limit. Now, substituting the limits, integral 0 to 2, integral 1 to 3, x, y square should remain as usual, z square is 4 by 2 minus 1 by 2 dy dx. Simplifying this, we will be getting 3 by 2. So, integral 0 to 2, integral 1 to 3, x, y square 3 by 2 dy dx. Now, I will take this 3 by 2 outside, integrating x, y square with respect to y we will be getting x y cube by 3 integral 1 to 3 dx so 3 by 2 i'll take this 3 outside integral 0 to 2 x into 3 cube is 27 1 cube is 1 dx now this 3 3 will get cancelled 27 minus 1 is 26 so, 26 by 2 integral 0 to 2 x dx. So, 26 by 2 is 13. Integration of x is x square by 2 integral 0 to 2. So, 13 into 4 by 2. So, the answer is 26 students. Hope you understand. You can see the typed version and you get the answer. Next, one more interesting problem we are going to deal the same constant limit 0 to a, 0 to b, 0 to c, but we have e power x plus y plus z. And very important, I said in the double integration problems also, whenever e power something is coming, try to split this, like e power x into e power y into e power z, dz, dy, dx. Now, it is very easy to integrate. Now, integration of e power x into e power y into e power z with respect to dz is integral 0 to a, 0 to b, e power x, e power y remains constant. e power z integration is also e power z by 1. So, we will simply write e power z integral. The limits are 0 to c dy dx. So, when you substitute the upper limit, it will become e power c and the lower limit e power 0 is 1. Now, simplifying this, we will be getting integral 0 to a, integral 0 to b, e power x, e power y, e power c minus 1, dy dx. Now, we will take this e power c minus 1 outside because it is a constant. So, e power c minus 1, integral 0 to a. Now, keep e power x as constant. Integrating e power y, we will be getting e power y limit 0 to b dx. In the similar way, we will be getting integral 0 to a e power x into e power b minus 1 dx. Therefore, e power c minus 1 into e power b minus 1 integral 0 to a e power x dx. 
e power x integration is again e power x so e power c minus 1 e power b minus 1 e power x 0 to a if you simplify this we'll be getting e power c minus 1 e power b minus 1 into e power a minus 1 this is my capitalized students you can see the typed version here hope you understand in all our previous problems my limits of the triple integral are constant so i have evaluated as it is now suppose if it is variable for example i am taking a function x y z now i am writing d z d y d x if the limits are variable just we have to understand how it is see this the inner integral is d z so the limit should be some g1 of x comma y and g2 of x comma y since we are integrating with respect to z as the inner integral the limit should be in terms of x and y now the next one dy already we have exhausted the case of y so it should be some h1 of x to h2 of x and dx is the outer limit so i can say it as some constant a to b hope you understand students like this you can write in any different combinations so now let us go and explore some problems on variable limits let us see the problem evaluate this is the given problem sometimes the order may be incorrect we have to check whether it is a correct order or not see the limits first inner limit it is a function of x and y and the next limit is a function of x and the outer limit is constant therefore see the inner limit should be a function of x and y so d z then the next one is h of x dy and the last one is constant obviously the left out dx so this is the correct order for the given problem students we have to take this as i and then we have to evaluate it so sometimes they may give the correct order sometimes they may give incorrect order as like the double integration what we seen so we have to write it in a proper order if it is in proper order no problem let us consider this as i and then we have to evaluate it now let us write in the proper order dz dy dx now we have expressed the given question in the correct format to solve this we have to remember our school days formula integral dx divided by a square minus x square just pause the video and recall the formula once you are done we will see the formula now this is our formula in our problem instead of x we have z so we will convert to z integral d z square root of a square minus z square immediately i can write this as sin inverse of z by a but there is some problem in problem let us see when i integrate with respect to z a square x square y square all are constants that is a square minus x square minus y square but according to the formula there should be some whole square see here here we should have some whole square but our problem does not consist of whole square it is simply a square minus x square minus y square so how to apply this formula i am going to make a simple trick students see in our school days we learn square root of a into square root of a is equal to a so instead of a square my problem consists of a so if my problem consists of a I can write this as square root of a whole square. Is it okay, students? So now I can rewrite this as square root of a square minus z square. If it is a square, here the answer is a. Here it is root a whole square. So the answer is going to be z by root a. That's it, students. So my constant is a square minus x square minus y square. What I'm going to do? I'm going to take square root and then make whole square now when you simplify you get the original thing i can apply in the formula in a very easy way the integration is going to be sin inverse of z divided by square root of a square minus x square minus y square now the problem is very simple so see here my i is going to be integral 0 to a integral square root of a square minus x square sin inverse of z so i'm going to write the square root of a square minus x square minus y square dy 
dx my limits are going to be integral 0 to square root of a square minus x square minus y square that's it student so it is going to be very very easy now if you apply the upper limit my numerator and denominator are same it will get cancel and i am going to get sin inverse of 1 when you apply the lower limit it becomes 0 so sin inverse of 1 minus sin inverse of 0 so sin inverse of 1 is pi by 2 sin inverse of 0 is 0 so the answer is going to be simply pi by 2 the very important thing is the trick which we played in the formula so now it will become pi by 2 dy dx pi by 2 is constant let us take this outside integral 0 to a when you integrate dy will be getting y 0 to square root of a square minus x square dx so when you apply the upper limit and lower limit lower limit is 0 we get like this now we know this formula we are seeing all the previous problems integral square root of a square minus x square dx is x by 2 square root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse of x by a so let us apply this here we will be getting pi by 2 and the formula substitution see here when i put a a square minus x square is 0 so upper limit is 0 when i put 0 0 into anything is 0 that means this term is going to be completely 0 so pi by 2 when i come here a square by 2 upper limit is sin inverse of 1 minus lower limit is sin inverse of 0 so pi by 2 a square by 2 sin inverse of 1 just now we see pi by 2 sin inverse of 0 is 0 therefore pi into pi pi square into a square 2 into 2 into 2 is 8 therefore the solution is pi square a square by 8 i is equal to pi square a square by 8 hope you understand we took a different problem and we crack it in a very simple thank you for watching we hope you found this video helpful stay tuned for more and keep up the great work subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video bye bye